Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionals one more time. We continue our playlist. It's called Pulmonology or Pulmonary Diseases. In the previous video, we've talked about Cartagena Syndrome, also known as Immotile Cilia Syndrome, aka Primary Ciliary Dyskinesia. We'll compare it with Situs Inversus, especially Situs Inversus Totalis. I love Latin. That's why the name of my channel is Medicosis Perfectionalis. With that being said, now let's get started. Here is immotile cilia syndrome, here is situs inversus. Immotile cilia syndrome has many names, cartagenars or primary cilia dyskinesia, these are synonymous. Situs inversus, also known as situs transversus or situs oppositus. Organs. Here the organs are transverse, i.e. they are translocated, i.e. you have dextrocardia. So the heart is on the right. We call this dextrocardia because dextro means right side. In surgery, if the surgeon is getting old, okay, and cannot work with his hands anymore, he's not manually talented anymore, we call this loss of dextrity. Dextrity is the right hand or the right side. Heart is on the right, dextro, which means the right, and cardia, which means the heart. What else? The liver is on the left. We're not talking about politics here, but everything is opposite. The appendix is on the left. Ooh, so when this patient has appendicitis, he's gonna complain of left lower quadrant pain good luck if your doctor could diagnose you most doctors are inept doctor i have a pain where is your pain here left lower quadrant i think i am having an appendix no 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 shut up your appendix is on the right side my goodness situs inversus transverse heart is on the right liver is on the left appendix is on the left Great vessels here are normal, but here there is transposition of great vessels, and this is a cyanotic congenital heart disease, and this is a right to left shunt. We get it. Transposition of great vessels? No. Yes. Congenital heart disease? Nope. Yes. Because if the heart is dextro, it's still normal, unless you have transposition of great vessels. All right, bronchiectasis. Yep, but no, usually no. But here's a trick. 25% of patients with situs inversus totalis also have immotile cilia syndrome, so some of them will have bronchiectasis, but the majority will not. Sinusitis, yes, because there is cilia. No. Infertility, yes, because there is flagellum in male in the sperm, and there are cilia in the fallopian tube in females. Situs inversus, they have no infertility, unless, of course, they are in the 25% of patients who have immotile cilia syndrome as well. If you like medical mnemonics, check out this website. They're called Picmonic, amazing interactive and video-like mnemonics. Thank you so much. There is a link in the description. You can get my premium videos, my cases, my post notes, my PDF notes, my audio notes, organized in Dropbox folders if you go to patreon.com slash medicosis. Also, please help me by sharing this video and subscribe, join the tribe, hit the bell and smash like. Follow me on Facebook, I have more than 100 cases there. This is Medicosis Perfectionals, where medicine makes perfect sense. Until next time, please remember to be safe, stay happy and study hard.